Welcome on everyone. I am about to get started in just a second. I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to pop on. Um, but what we're doing tonight is the Healthy Eating and Meal Prep 101. Um, this is just a quick webinar. I put together a PowerPoint um, that you guys can all follow along with. Um, basically what we're doing tonight is I'm going to explain to you exactly um, how I meal prep and how I save money while grocery shopping. I know that a lot of you are um, customers of mine. I know that you guys are all um, just getting started or have already started the 21 day fix and you guys are just looking for some extra recipes, you're looking for ways to spice up your menu and that is what tonight is all about. So I am going to introduce myself. Hi guys, I'm Kelsey Pate and again a lot of you are my customers, a lot of you are might not be my customers, you might just be popping on to see what this is all about. Um, but regardless, um, what I'm here to do tonight is to basically explain to you exactly um, how I do meal planning, how I find recipes, and how I save money while I am doing my grocery uh, shopping budget and when I go out and how I do this, um, how I get everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I have put together a quick PowerPoint. This won't take any longer than 30 minutes. Um, you can pop on and off as you go. This is being recorded. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys and we're just going to go through this quick PowerPoint. I'm going to uh, be sharing my screen and showing you guys different links as we go. So that way you guys can um, see exactly how I would do this. So let me start this off. I'm going to share this with you guys right now. All right. So healthy eating and meal prep, December 14th, 2015 webinar. So essentially what we, I'm going to start off right here. Hi. Okay. This is all about me. So here, this is who is talking to you right now. I'm Kelsey. I am a Star Diamond Team Beachbody coach. I am a television reporter and entrepreneur. I am a fiance and a crazy dog mom. I have a bachelor's in journalism from West Virginia University. Um, I began my journey with the 21 Day Fix in Shakeology in April of 2014. Um, essentially what I do and what I love to do, my passion is to change lives and I do that um, through challenge groups. Um, a lot of you are in challenge groups. I do that through um, talking to you guys and connecting with you guys on a personal level and helping you guys succeed. That is what I'm passionate about is helping people get results. For me, I am a changed woman that started with no support. So I didn't have much support from people um, until I found Team Beachbody. And that has changed my life in more ways than I can even imagine. I would say that I am determined with no excuses. I dream extremely big and I will never, ever give up. So what you're seeing on the left is um, my transformation. It's not extreme, but it's something that um, has made was the beginning for me. Again, with the 21 Day Fix and Shakeology. So what am I going to be going over tonight? What I'm going over is this. That's what the 21 Day Fix is, how to meal prep and find recipes, grocery shopping on a budget, and why I believe that this program works and this the process works. And even if you're not doing the 21 Day Fix, why I believe that this is the way you can get results and you can feel good about yourself. So we'll start off with this first. What is the 21 Day Fix? Now, a lot of you... Um, again, are probably my customers, you're my teammates, customers, and you guys are just kind of wondering what the 21, you, you've already purchased it, you're ready to get started, and you're just looking for some behind the scenes stuff, but we're going to go over this really quickly for the people that do not know what the 21 Day Fix is. In a nutshell, it is an easy to follow nutrition and fitness program that makes losing weight simple. And I, that's the easiest way that I can summarize this. That is possible through 30 minute workouts, through colored portion control containers, and your daily nutrition with Shakeology, the healthiest meal of the day. So again, it's extremely easy to follow. I call this a foolproof program. Um, you're literally work focusing on two things, that's nutrition and fitness, and you're losing weight the healthy way. No pills, no wraps, none of that stuff. We are we eat a lot of food and we work out. That's essentially what we do. So here's what you get whenever you order. This is my, my what you got whenever you got your stuff, including a bag of Shakeology. So you got seven different workouts. You probably you also got a bonus workout, um, which is Plyo Fix. You got portion control containers. You got a shaker for your Shakeology. You got a eating plan, a three day quick start, as well as your start here package. So that's everything that you should have in your package. So and a lot of things we'll be going over tonight. Um, and then again, the results that I got when I did this program for the first time. 
So this first step when it comes to meal planning is figuring out which calorie bracket you're in so you know exactly how many containers to get per day. So this is on the left is a sample of what the 1,500 to 1,799 calorie bracket would be. This is on page 19 in your book. So if you have your 21 day fix book, I definitely recommend that you open that up. A lot of you should know um, what calorie bracket that you're falling into. Um, but this is a sample meal plan, um, which I'll get more into in a little bit. But this is kind of how she broke it down. She says, I can have four greens, three purples, four reds, three yellows, one blue, one orange, and four teaspoons. So essentially right there, she bases her... Um, this is a meal plan that I found on Pinterest. Um, she's basing her entire meal plan. I love this chart. Um, essentially on how many containers she gets per day. So that is the first step in this entire process is figuring out your calorie bracket so you know exactly how many calorie containers you're getting per day. Now this is in your book, so don't feel the need to write all this down. This stuff is again um, in your 21 day fix book. So what this is, is this is broken down, um, your containers are broken down by color. Your green container is veggies. So you'll have the kale, the collard greens, the spinach, the Brussels sprouts, and you have your fruits in the purple container, your proteins in the red container, carbs in the yellow container, seeds and oils in your orange container, and then you have your blue container, which is healthy fats. Um, and then you'll have your free foods and your teaspoons. Now this is a little tip that you guys might not know. The way she has them ordered in the book is actually on purpose. The ones at the top of the list are actually the most healthy for you. So that's just a little side tip. Um, not, that this is not that the ones on the bottom are bad for you, but the ones that she has listed on the top are actually, it's going from like healthiest to not as healthiest. So something to keep in mind. Again, this is all in your book, but this is exactly how this is broken down. So when you start meal planning and you say, okay, I can have four greens a day, three purples, for reds, this is what you're you're basically basing this off of. So what I did is I have five tips for you in creating a yummy and simple meal plan, and I'm going to be going back and forth through this um, through this PowerPoint into my um, into my Pinterest and things like that as we go. So in order to succeed, you need to be prepared. That doesn't go just for meal planning; that goes in all aspects of life. Be prepared. So there's five steps that I have for creating a simple and yummy meal plan, and I can do this now underneath 30 minutes. Because a lot of people get so stressed out about it, they say, "Oh my gosh, like there's so much things. Like I have so many containers. I have so much to do and put it all together." If you get yourself into a routine and if you follow these steps, I promise that this process will become a lot easier. I notice that every time that I plan ahead, there is a huge, huge chance I'll succeed. And if I, and if I go into it saying that I'm going to wing it, there's a chance it's going to be a disaster of a week. So I have no structure, no order to my meals, so it's extremely important. Um, every time my customers ask me how I stay on track throughout the week, I tell them very simply that I plan. And this is exactly how I do it. So I wanted to give you guys these five tips. So the first one I have for you is very simple, and it's start with dinner. Um, I want you guys to realize that the reason I say this is because for me personally, dinner is something that I look forward to every single day. And it's something my fiance looks forward to every single day. And we want that to be the meal that um, I, I like, I like, I guess, experimenting. So I always want dinner to go first. Um, I usually will go through Pinterest to or my Fixate cookbook. Um, and I will pick seven dinners for the week right off the bat. So that's where I start. Um, whatever sticks out to me, I pick it. The heart knows what it wants, and believe me, I promise you right now, it does not want chicken and broccoli every single night. So get creative with it. Their Pinterest has so many different recipes on there, and I'm gonna stop sharing this and share my Pinterest with you in a second to explain that. But essentially, pick what sounds good, get the container count, and cross them off your list right off the bat. So if your dinner is gonna count as a red, two green, and a yellow, you know exactly how much you're gonna have left to plan for the rest of the day, and you know that you're always going to have a yummy, dinner to look forward to. So I am going to show you guys, let me stop the screen share really quick. And I'm going to show you guys my Pinterest so we can, let me get this up really quick. All right. Not this one. Sorry guys, I'm getting it. That is not what I want either. Where is it? Is not letting me share this with you. No, no. 
Let me see if I can get into it really quick. Saw how that was supposed to go. Um, but essentially, once I get this up, then I can show you guys how I would typically do my dinners. Here we go. Okay, let me see if I can share this with you guys again. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you guys should be able to see my Pinterest. So essentially what I do when I go in to start dinner planning, what I do is like, it just popped up actually, 21 day fix recipes dinner. And from here, what I will do is I will go through and I'll see what looks good to me. So for instance, this grilled chicken pita, that sounds pretty good. That's actually on my meal plan this week, which is kind of funny, it just popped up. So the grilled chicken pita, if, not, if you guys know how Pinterest works, then you guys, I shouldn't have to explain it to you, but essentially you can click on this and once you click on the um, picture, it essentially will take you to the blog or wherever the recipe is coming from. And what I do from here is I just write down, I copy and paste the, um, the recipe into a Word document. And then I always look for this right here, the 21 day fix ingredients. So this one, for instance, the Greek chicken pita is one green, one and a half yellow, half red, half blue. Right off the bat, if I know that I'm gonna have it on a Monday, I just cross that off my list right off the bat because I know that I'm gonna have an awesome dinner that I'm gonna be able to look forward to that night. So again, that's how I do that. This has so many, um, I'm not, you guys all probably all know how to use Pinterest, so I don't need to go through that, but um, this this has so many different things. As you can just kind of, as I scroll through here, you can see um, Philly's cheesesteak stuffed peppers. We have, uh, this this person has 150 21 day fix recipes, um, skinny sweet mashed, or excuse me, skinny smashed sweet potatoes, turkey lettuce wraps, chicken avocado burritos. So that's, what I'm saying here is, is you have so many different options. Do not sit back and just have to put down chicken and broccoli for your dinner because that's, you're going to get sick of that. And then dieting and this whole process and this program is going to become so, like just hard for you to um hard for you to do because you're not going to be looking forward to dinner so that's one thing i definitely recommend is that you um you go to their pinterest you use entities like that which will be able to um which will be able to get creative with your meal plan so i'm gonna get back to my powerpoint really quick go through the rest of these tips okay let me Screen shares, so many screen shares. Okay, so um, next up, after my second tip for you guys is to find a place for your Shakeology. That should be the second place, second thing that you are doing. What time of the day that you're noticing that you're lacking energy? Maybe you are on the go a lot and don't have time to stop for food. That's where your Shakeology needs to go in your meal plan. For me, that I know that between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., I'm not going to have time to eat. I have a pretty busy schedule, so I need mine at that time. So this is my Shakeology is typically meal number three for me. So I, when I would do that, I usually cross one right off my list. If you're somebody that likes to mix it with fruits and vegetables, make sure you're crossing those containers off too. There is no wrong time to schedule in your Shakeology every single day. Just pick a spot, and that's going to be good. Number three, assume there's going to be leftovers from that awesome dinner that you created because that's going to be your lunch for the next day. So essentially right there, what you, you make a little bit extra. Zach and I do this all the time. We make a little bit extra for dinner, and then that is what we bring for lunch the next day. So I just copy and paste the dinner count into the lunch for the next day. So it was that easy. I already have lunch planned. Simple enough. Number four is that's when you're going to start filling in the blanks. So what counter... What container counts do you have left for the day? So you basically have your lunch planned, you have your dinner planned, and you have your Shakeology already scheduled in there. So what containers do you still have left? Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to start filling in those empty slots with those containers. Purples are as simple as a fruit that you can buy in bulk that can last you through the entire week, which um, I will copy and paste into the different slots like bananas, uh, cantaloupe, pineapple, apples, anything like that. You can just kind of copy and paste. Um, vegetables, it's crucial that you're getting these vegetables in. Reds are as simple as some eggs for breakfast or maybe a Greek yogurt on the go if you're like me and you're busy. Um, whatever you're feeling, just fill in the blanks and it's that simple. 
And last but not least, put it in an Excel spreadsheet so you can tweak it from week to week. So this is something that I do all the time. I like to put it in an Excel spreadsheet. You're going to get to that. Actually, I think I have it in here soon. I'll get back to that in a second. Um, but basically, I put it into an Excel spreadsheet because I'm a creature of habit. So I like to eat a lot of the same things. And while I might not have the same exact meal plan the same week, it's actually kind of beneficial because four weeks later, I can go back to week one and I can just restart it. So a lot of it makes my life a lot easier when I'm planning my meals and I'm already halfway done. So here is a sample meal plan. Um, you can kind of see how this would work. Um, this is not my meal plan. This is some one of my coaches. And she, basically you can see how she, she set hers up. She has Shakeology for her breakfast every single day and she mixes it. Um, she makes pumpkin protein bars. She had turkey meatballs and zoodles. So she, you can basically see um, her dinners are different every single night, but she is also, a lot of things are repeating. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, we all like what we like, and the beauty of this program is that we can create it to our needs. Um, I already just said this, put it in Express, Express, ugh, Excel spreadsheet to tweak from week to week. That is this right here. This is my meal plan from last week. Um, what I do is I have an Excel, I go to Google Sheets, and this is where I keep this. So I have my workout at the top, I have the supplements that I use every day, and then I just plug in. And a lot of it, like I said, is repetitive. I have, you can see I have the same fruits every single day. I have things that I make in bulk. My Shakeology is usually at the same time every single day. I mix it with almond milk, so it's pretty repetitive. But that's the way that I like my meal plan. So don't feel, you guys can, um, well, but you always will notice that my different my dinners are always awesome because that's what I look forward to every single day. And again, all those were coming from Pinterest. So to kind of recap on what I was just talking about, where to find recipes, Pinterest. Um, you can go to different blogs. Um, Fixate is a book. You can talk to your coach about that. Um, if it's me or whether it's another coach, talk to your coach about Fixate. It has a ton of different 21 Day Fix recipes in. It's actually by Autumn herself. Um, Google, and again, contact your coach, and I'm sure they'd be more than willing to help you out with that. Um, just another tip of, of mine that I do a lot, um, I cook and I prep in bulk. So whatever I can cook on a Sunday that will last me through the entire week, um, I will do that. So hard-boiled eggs, chicken, um, I make omelet cups, um, I chop up fruits and vegetables, and I get them all ready to go so I can just throw them in a the skillet at night. Um, easy on the goes, so like the Greek yogurts and things like that. I just, whatever I can do so my day is not crazy, because my first time I went through this, I had a huge, made the huge mistake of doing it every single night, and it was so much, and I had so much to wash, and it was just such a pain in the butt. So the more you can prep and cook, the better. So that, right, it's a lot of food. How am I going to afford it all? Well, that is why I have some awesome tips for you for grocery shopping now to kind of let you guys know exactly how I typically do this. So essentially what you're going to do, um, grocery shopping on a budget tips, these are tips to save money and stay on track. Tip number one, you want to go on your shopping trip on a budget. So what I do is I always walk in with cash. I will tell you right now that if you bring in your card, you are basically telling yourself that you're up for anything and you don't care how much your bill is. And you might say that's not true, but I promise you mentally there's something in the back of your mind saying, hey, I have a little bit of extra on my card. If this goes over, then it's not a big deal. But if you walk in with cash, so you walk in, like for me and Zach, we walk in with $80 cash every single week. If it's over 80, we have to put something back because that's all we have is cash. We do not have a card. So I'm buying for two people, so $80 might not be your budget. You might be at $40, whatever. But just make sure that you are sticking to that budget. Make sure you you put it in there. And Shakeology is actually going to help you on that budget because one of your meals is Shakeology, and you bought that right off the bat. Tip number two is stick to the list. Now, we tend to stray from the list when we see something we like. It's like, oh, we're, we're, we have our stuff, but we're walking out, and we see the eggnog and we want it so bad, stick to your list. That's how we get ourselves off track and in financial trouble. Um, whenever you make your list, you have to write it down. You have to stick to that list. Get in that store and get out. That's another great way to save some money. Number three, this is ridiculous, but it's so true, and do not go shopping hungry. There are so many smells and temptations in that grocery store, and our minds love to play tricks on us. 
I always eat before I go and it gives me more energy to get in and get out. So again, do not go shopping hungry because everything is going to sound good, costing you more money in the long run. Tip number four is to do your research. Don't just go to Kroger because it's closest or Aldi because it's closest. Check out the online ads. I know you're thinking to yourself, I do not have time to sit back and check out these online ads. You do because you're trying to save money. Um, it's going to make you feel old. Believe me, the first time I started doing this, it made me feel old. But hey, it's going to save you money in the long run. So if Aldi has apples 60 cents cheaper, that's where you should go. I mean, it just takes a couple minutes to browse before you go, and it can save you money in the long run. Um, don't have much advice on this one, but because I'm not much of a couponer, but this is a tip that um, a lot of my fellow coaches use. If you know how to coupon, which I do very rarely, you should definitely do it because obviously they're going to be your saving grace. I don't think I need to go into too many details on that because couponing is couponing, right? That's a great way to save money. Um, tip number five or six, excuse me. Take an inventory before you leave the house. Um, you guys can send me a message and ask me for my inventory sheet. Essentially what this is, is basically um, you have to go, th go through your refrigerator and go through your cabinets and make sure before you go to the grocery store, after you've made your meal plan, if you already have it, you don't rebuy it. Um, I would go to the grocery store, I would buy broccoli and then come home and realize that I had a ton of broccoli. Why did I do that? Because I didn't check before I left. So make sure that you you take an inventory before you leave the house. Um, look at your meal plan. Look at your grocery list. And if you already have it, just cross it off. And you don't need to waste the money or the food when you don't have to. Take part in the loyalty programs at your grocery store. So make sure you're part of those loyalty programs. You know how Kroger and Food City and Ryan Eagle, they all have those little cards that you can scan. Um, put them on your keychain and never let the cashier check you out um, without scanning that thing. And I, what I like to do is I like to let them ring everything up and then scan my card just so I can see how much money that I saved. That's just a personal thing. I'm not telling you you have to do that. It's just something I like to do to watch it all go like ding, 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 and go all the way back down to the bottom. Look up and down the shelves. This is something that I think is so huge and a lot of people don't realize. Now, the highest priced items are at eye level. So they're very good with their marketing in the grocery store. So if you're looking straight ahead, you're going to see Heinz ketchup. If you look at the bottom, you're going to see Hunt's ketchup, right? That's the way it works because the highest price items are placed at eye level so you would buy them first. So make sure that you're looking up and down the shelves. Also another little tip is the freshest items are always in the back. I am that weirdo that will pull out the milks and grab the one in the back just because I know it's more fresh. So make sure um, you guys do that too. That's especially, especially um, important when it comes to things like vegetables and fruits. Um, I always buy low sodium, low fat, skim, and I always utilize the Dirty Dozen list for organic foods. If you guys don't know what the Dirty Dozen list is, um, I highly recommend that you look that up. Essentially what it is is there's some fruits and vegetables out there that are very high in pesticides, and um, they recommend that you go organic. So I just kind of implement those. I'm not a, I'm not a full-out organic eater. Um, I just kind of implement the Dirty Dozen list. Um, but make sure you're reading the label. Just because it says low sodium or low fat on it does not mean that that's better than the ones with more sodium. I mean, sodium is sodium. I would always go low sodium. But like low fats and things like that, make sure that you are being um, you're being very specific on and when you're looking at the different labels on what you're gonna what you're gonna buy there. Why this works? So eating every two to three hours. This whole program. You all invested in it for a reason. You're all considering this for a reason. Every, eating every two to three hours is going to boost your metabolism. That's why Autumn recommends that we do it. You're not counting calories. The containers are doing it for you. I love that you're in control of this program. I feel that I get to create my own meal plan. I get to make it the way that I like it. And that's what's cool to me. This isn't a fad diet where I'm eating celery sticks and carrots all the time. This is something that I can implement myself. I can tweak to my liking. Picky eaters, this is the thing for you because you can make this the way that you want it. Um, I also love that Shakeology makes you feel like you're cheating. Guys, I can't speak on this product enough. 
you should be drinking this every single day. I have been drinking it every day since April 2014. I'm almost at two years of drinking this every single day. And a lot of people might ask you, well, how can you afford that and things like that? Well, one, coaching has helped with that. But two, it's part of my grocery bill. It's part of my everyday life. So instead of going out and buying a $4 Frappuccino to keep my get my energy levels up, I'm drinking the healthiest meal of the day. You guys know for yourself, you're drinking it or you're considering drinking it. It is one of my favorite things in the world because A, more energy. B, it feels like you're cheating. C, you're getting insane amount of vitamins and nutrients and superfoods in every single shake. Four, it's helping you with your weight loss. And five, it's just, it's just good. <laughs> it's just really good. And last but not least, 21 day fixers are averaging a weight loss of five to 15 pounds per round. And this is something that is proven. You guys saw my results. Um, I have so many of my other fellow coaches' results. This is something that truly works. And um, I can't preach about this enough. So the containers, I mean, I have them in front of me right now. These little babies, they look small. I remember when I first got this in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, these are tiny. Like, how am I supposed to stay full with this? But I've actually come to notice that a lot of brides that I'm working with, a lot of my customers are saying, how am I supposed to eat all of this? Like after you, after you really sit down, you'll take a second to realize, guys, we eat a lot on this program because that's the way it's supposed to be done. B, it's proven to work. And C, because your body is craving this. It's craving these vegetables. It's craving these proteins, craving these fruits. And why do people fail, guys? Why do people fail at these programs? They fail because they don't know how to plan. They don't know how to prepare. So I hope that this past half hour helped you guys. It gave you a little inside look at how I do this. I am more than willing to answer any single any questions that you guys have. I have the Q and A open. I don't think anybody has asked any questions. Um, if you guys have any, please feel free to type them in the box. Um, go ahead and ask me any questions. I'll give you guys a couple minutes before we log off. Um, it can be about anything about the twenty one day fix. Um, but I want you guys to. Um, feel free to ask anything and to hopefully this helped. I really hope this helped um, because again, if you can plan, if you can prep, you guys are you guys are solid. You're good to go. That's how this works. This is not easy. Don't I mean not not excuse me. This is not hard. This program is very easy and it's very very effective. So if anybody has any questions, I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to post them in the questions box. If you do not. Then this is this is over. This is going to be um, on YouTube in probably about an hour. So this will be if this is recorded and it will be there. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes to answer any questions. I hope this helped. I hope this helped you guys for whoever was kind of on the fence about recipes and things like that. Again, I I don't make it hard on myself. I use Pinterest. I Google. I use Fixate, which is a great cookbook. Again, talk to your coach about that if you're interested. That's essentially what I do every single day um, to meal plan. And like I said, I've gotten to this point where it's become such a routine of copy and paste in an Excel, and it takes me less than 30 minutes, and I'm planning for two people a week. And it is fiancé approved. It is male approved. So he eats, he eats exactly what I eat every single day. All right. Well, I have not seen any questions pop up. So I'm so glad that you guys um, came on tonight. And I am super excited for you guys to take on your programs. I hope this helped. Um, if you are one of my customers, um, you have my contact information. I am more than willing to answer any questions that you have. Um, but until next time, you guys have a good rest of your night.